Okay, it's your buddy Mike Messier, and look, a friend of mine, Chris Anino, just told me about Beefcake's bad knee, and he asked me to say some words uh, to support Brutus Beefcake. Uh, Brutus Barber Beefcake, we've known him in, as different names. I believe he was born Ed Leslie, and uh, guy had a great career. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't remember that Brutus Beefcake actually wrestled at uh, WrestleMania 1. All the way back in 1985, March of 1985, uh, Brutus Beefcake was on that undercard. He uh, teamed up. Well, he had Johnny V, uh, Johnny Valiant, who unfortunately uh, passed away uh, this year, uh, this past year, going up against David San Martino. And uh, Bruno San Martino was in David's corner. So all those great legends, uh, Bruno and Johnny V, I believe, you know, passed away this past year. Really tragic. But Brutus Beefcake is still with us, and you know, I'll be honest, when I, when Chris initially told me just a few minutes ago about this Brutus Beefcake thing, I'm going to admit to something. I caught myself questioning, did I really want to put my name out there or say anything about Brutus Beefcake? Because I know that he had some uh, back and forth with Hulk Hogan a couple of years ago that probably wasn't pleasant, uh, either way you look at it. And uh, you know, I wasn't like the biggest Brutus Beefcake fan. I mean. I liked a lot of what he did. I liked the Dream Team with Greg Valentine, which was a lot of substance and style. In fact, if you look at Brutus Beefcake versus, or Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine versus the British Bulldogs at WrestleMania 2, uh, easily say that that match stole the show. And a great match. <clears throat> and uh, the Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine having all those great matches against the Killer Bees and a lot of great teams. In fact, there was even a, a heel versus heel tag team match. Beefcake and Valentine defending the titles against Volkov and Sheik. So then you think about, you know, Beefcake, unfortunately, as we know, had the parasailing accident. Uh, he was with Hulk Hogan at the time. And then Beefcake's, uh, I guess, someone else, uh, not Hogan or Beefcake, but someone else's knees buckled and smashed into Brutus's face. And, you know, would have ended a lesser man's life or career. But Beefcake was able to come back from that and have a, you know, pretty respectable uh, career. Very respectable. Uh, you know, a lot of people just chalk him up as Hulk Hogan's friend. But, I mean, he wrestled Hulk Hogan at Starcade 94. Can't take that away from him. He had a lot of uh, goofy characters. I think, you know, when he didn't have that Brutus Beefcake moniker that fit him so well, uh, Brutus Beefcake's, you know, persona kind of went from Zodiac to all these different personas in kind of mid-90s WCW. So the point is, <clears throat> I'm a fan of Beef Beefcake. I've, I've brief briefly been in his presence, and he still looked great about six or seven years ago that I saw him at an independent show in Fall River, Mass, uh, Top Row Promotions. But it's not like, you know, he's like a Ric Flair or a, or a Road Warriors or a Flying Brian to me personally. But what I'm getting at is I really caught myself saying, does he have to be? Does he have to be my favorite wrestler? in order to uh, support him and support his uh, cause to have this knee surgery. All these wrestlers, whether, you're your, <clears throat> whether they're your favorite wrestler or not, you know, they're all providing the tapestry of this platform uh, that we all enjoy. Uh, they're all providing uh, the matches, whether it's the fifth match on the show, the third match, the, the, the main event, the match that closes the show, the title match, preliminary match. All these talented guys and women, um, who really bust their fucking backs for us and for our entertainment. And now we're kind of wising up to the game that these major promotions never really support these guys financially when it comes to um, insurance or it comes to, you know, their health. I mean, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But I'd hate to see for, uh, you know, having known some of the old time, not the Beefcake's old time, but some of the older wrestlers when they do suffer these injuries and how much pain they go through and they don't really have a lot of support so they have to come to the fans and some fans are appreciative and some are not uh, but for those that might have it in their hearts or their wallets or their PayPal accounts or however to do a little uh, contribution or a big contribution to the GoFundMe uh, Brutus, Brutus's Bad Knee campaign I think that'd be a great thing you know the Beefcake Bad Knee on GoFundMe uh, if you find it in your heart or in your wallet your mind uh, don't wait until tomorrow. Do it today. Help the beefcake out, the Brutus the Barber beefcake. I mean, of course, WrestleMania 3, with all the things going on at WrestleMania 3, 
you know, Randy Savage and Ricky Stimo tearing the house down. Uh, Hogan Andre <laughs> with their Dave Meltzer negative four star match, right? But I mean, a, a great match, okay? Hogan and versus Andre. But of all the things going on, they told a nice story with Brutus Beefcake uh, turning, turning babyface. Really a two act story. First, him and uh, Valentine uh, having troubles. Uh, the Dream Team won their last match against the Rougeos on WrestleMania 3, the undercard, and he and Dino Bravo were kind of bumping into each other. And then, you know, three or four matches later, uh, Beefcake helps Roddy Piper win his retirement match, and they shaved Adrian Adonis' head. And, of course, now we know that Adonis and Piper are both no longer with us. So all these guys that are still with us, if you're a fan of that generation, or even if you're not, if you have your... You know, your Brutus Beefcake purple and black action figure, that LJN, that classic figure with the thumb sticking up. And you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, Chris Anino, once again, uh, he asked me to do this, and I'm doing it because I feel a little remorseful, a little bad that I even question myself for a moment. You know, question why should I do anything. But, you know, for all the things that we bitch about with wrestling and creative and storylines and no women shows in Saudi Arabia and all these complaints that we may or may not have, uh, they have, they being the wrestlers especially, talking about the wrestlers here, not the promotions or any promoters, they fucking bust their ass for us, so if it's in your heart, mind, soul to contribute a few bucks, if you had an extra bonus at work today, if you want to think about going to go fund me for Brutus Peefkick and contributing, I'd encourage you to do that, and uh, always remember to do a little strutting and cutting for Brutus Peefkick.